Fidget spinners, they're all the rage for kids. However, a consumer watch group put them on a list of possible toy hazards for kids. The group says the spinners can fall apart, leading to a choking hazard. But now there's another hazard parents are complaining about, lead in the spinners. We started seeing reports of this after parents were using some of these home lead testing kits. But do these kits really work? NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendez set out to verify if they can really tell you how much lead is in something. Good boy. Jessica Cirillo's kids love playing with their dog. Good boy. Might rather be playing with their fidget spinner. Probably about two weeks ago, I finally broke down and, and we got one. But now, mom's getting rid of it after a post on social media. Somebody had mentioned something about lead being in them. Cirillo broke out a home lead testing kit. And then you're supposed to swab them for about 30 seconds. The results, shocking. It's the darkest red I've ever seen in all the testing that I have done. Dark red is supposed to mean lead, but are the results accurate? Positive for lead in these two spots. And these We're two seeing spots parents posting online claiming their home tests found lead in everything from fidget spinners to their kids' shoes. It says you're supposed to swab for 30 seconds. So we tested them. We bought two pairs of jellies. People claim the plastic is laden with lead. All right, so it looks like these jellies are negative because it says if there's lead present, the tip will be red or it'll be orange or pink, and it stayed yellow. This fidget spinner. I'm gonna just test this metal section. Experts say home lead tests are only designed to pick up lead that's on the surface. It's negative. Not what could be buried deeper. They also can't tell you how much lead is actually in the item or whether that result is really a dangerous level. The Consumer Product Safety Commission does not find the home lead test useful because they found too many false negatives. Consumer Reports says, though, if you just want to know if there's lead on the surface of a toy or a pair of shoes, these home tests work just fine. We're good. That's all Cirillo wants to know. She spread the word, dump the spinner. But it's just something that, you know, I'm not going to let my kids continue to play with. As for the lead tests, she'll be keeping those. I don't claim to be an expert. I'm just a mom who loves my kids. So are these home lead tests verified? We'll go ahead and say yes, as long as you take the results with a grain of salt. This is not an exact science. Might be good enough, though, for you to decide you're not going to give an item to your kid after all. If you're really concerned about the results, talk to your doctor. I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte.